Hello and welcome to this VET return filing tutorial. In this video, I will demonstrate how to file a VET return using our new taxpayer online system known as TPORS. First, you need to log into TPORS with the correct user ID and password. Once logged into your account, select the filing obligation tile. Here, you will find four input fields. The first is a drop down that allows you to select a tax return, then, you click on Value Added Tax. Once selected, all your filing history details will appear. Scroll to the bottom and select the return that has a due status. Click on the icon beside it. This will take you to the next screen where you will find a set of instructions. Please read these instructions carefully before proceeding. Check the box. Once you have read and understood, then click continue to next step to proceed to filing obligations. Answer the question, are you filing an ill return for this period? If yes, you are required to select the reason from the drop-down. If no, you can proceed to the, the taxable supplies form. The taxable supplies form has three columns. Column 1 has entry descriptions, column 2 amounts, and the last column gives you the option to either open a new form or directly input the amount. Where there is no icon, the system will automatically calculate for example, if I click the icon on the first line, it will open the form for taxable supplies for the period. This form lists all activities for which you are registered with FRCS. Under each activity registered with FRCS, you may input the sales amount, and this will update on the main taxable supplies form. You also have the add an activity option, and the same process applies. In line 2, sale of assets. There are two options. 1. You can add new, where you select the asset type from the drop-down list. 2. Use the download template option to copy and paste data from your accounting system. Once you download the template, copy your data, and be sure to paste as values in the template. Return to TPORS, and click on Import File. Upload the Excel file, and your sale of assets data is updated on the taxable supplies form. Please check the details before you click Confirm. In line 3, Sales of Zero Rated Supplies. Here, you are required to provide a breakdown of your zero rated sales by activity. First, the export sales, and other zero rated sales, you can directly input amounts where applicable and once completed, the taxable supplies form is again updated. In line 4, the sale of exempt supplies, here, you can directly input on the taxable supplies form by simply clicking on the edit icon, to input the amount, and click the same icon again to complete. This item does not affect VET calculations but is important for FRCS purposes. The system will automatically calculate sales of supplies subject to VET, output tax, and total VET charged on taxable supplies. Where you have an output adjustment, click on the form icon to open the output adjustments form. There are two options to filling the form. 1. Select an adjustment from the drop-down and click Add Adjustment to proceed. 2. Use the Download Template tab to copy and paste data from your accounting system. Once you download the template, copy your data and be sure to paste as values in the template. Return to TPORS and click Import File to upload the saved file. Your data is populated in the Output Adjustments form. Be sure to check the details before you click Confirm. Your taxable supplies form is updated thereafter. For debit and credit note adjustments, dates, note numbers and taxable activity name are required. Whether the customer is overseas or an individual, you may use the FRCS TIN, or else use the customer's TIN number if available. For credit notes received, you must only use the supplier's TIN. We now move to the Purchases and Expenses form. This has similar entries to the Taxable Suppliers form. For total VET on purchase and expenses for which tax invoicing requirements have been met. You again have two options to fill the form. 1. Add new or download template. The latter is a more viable option for most businesses. 2. Similar steps in previous forms will apply for the download template and import file option. Important notes to check when using the download template option. 1. Date format must be correct. 2. Suppliers tin must not have a dash. 3. All invoice numbers is a complete with the correct digits. 4. 
the values should not have the dollar sign of formulas. 5. The capital revenue expenditure column is represented by a number. Should if any of these errors exist, the system will not respond when you click confirm. Total VET paid to customs, this can only be claimed for the period for which it was paid to FRCS. For example, VET paid to customs in June 2020, must be claimed in June 2020. The system will not allow claims outside the period for which payment was made. Certain icons will appear disabled, but once the new tax system has fully rolled out, the icon will be enabled. For VET reverse charge paid, this can be claimed using the total VET on purchases and expenses function. Click on Add New, plus icon, select the date and use FRCS TIN 6001122200 for the supplier's TIN, other fields will auto-populate. For VET on purchases not wholly used on taxable suppliers, click on the new form icon. This form deals with the two streams of revenue for your business. 1. Generates revenue that has VET in it. 2. Does not have VET, but you have claimed VET on the whole invoice value. So this needs to be apportioned here. If you're using the download option, remember to copy and paste as values. Return to TPOS and select the saved file, click open to upload the file. Once you click confirm, the amount is updated. Total input VET claimable and total VET payable refundable is auto-calculated. We now proceed to goods repossessed. Answer the question, have you ever defaulted on a debt payment resulting in your goods being repossessed by the creditor? If you select yes, you need to provide the creditor's tin and value of goods repossessed. If you select no, then you can proceed to the summary. This item does not affect your VET calculation. However, it is used for FRCS's data collection and compliance purposes. The summary will reflect your penalties or refunds. Declaration. Finally, we've reached the declaration form. Here the TIN number of the accountant or director is mandatory. FRCS does not require any attachment at this point in time for the submission of original VET return, as the system will process the original VET return in 5 to 15 minutes. Check the box, I declare that this is the correct assessment of my VET return and click submit. There is also an option to add notes if need be. Click submit to complete the process, a confirmation note appears with the reference number, which will be sent to your email, and it can also be downloaded. Once your forms are processed by FRCS, the confirmation note will be available on your correspondence tile. This brings us to the end of the VET return filing tutorial on TPORS. We hope that you have been able to follow through. Please stay tuned for more tutorial videos.